My dad um, was born in Leitrim and he decided to leave uh, Leitrim when he was about 17 and he moved up to Dublin and he quickly got a job in the Central Dairy. At the time it was owned by a woman who lived, I think it was on the old Ballymun Road and um, I think the woman retired and when she retired he had the option of taking over the shop so, so he took that option and uh, he, he remained living above the shop for a good few years, I think until he met my mum. I worked there from the age of 12 to 18, I think. My dad loved St. Patrick's Day um, and made a big fuss. He loved having all of his children around him as well. So St. Patrick's Day was the day. There was five of us in the family, like five kids. So back then the, um, the parade went down Georgia Street. It doesn't anymore, but it did then. And the staff in the shop would work in conjunction with the guards and making sure that we had a really good view. So we'd have like the boxes to stand up on. Um, and we always had a great view from the street. There has been one major event that happened, but it's quite a sad event because my dad actually had a heart attack in the shop. Um, but I think, even though it sounds really sad, I think yeah. he passed away in the place where he was happiest. So I think if the building could speak, I might say something along those lines because he'd been there for so long. So he, he was there when he was 17 and he died when he was 78, so it was quite a long time. And yeah. he, uh, he was where he was happiest when he finally passed away. So we, we just left the shop for a few years and then my mum got quite Ill, Ill with cancer so just between all of that happening the shop was left vacant so it was when she died in 2004 we officially inherited the shop and then we started looking towards getting canon permission or um, permission to, to change uh, the shop from um, the type of building it was at, at the time which was derelict basically it had been left for so long and it hadn't been in a very good state anyway even when my dad had had it. It was just really sad to kind of walk by it every day and see the shutter pull down and graffiti drawn on it and you know knowing that my dad loved it so much and it was such a huge part of our family um, it was hard to, to see it in that state so we were very eager to work towards getting uh, something sorted out for it and seeing it being used as a shop again. He loved uh, innovation and he loved to see young people with a bit of spark in them and he'd love to see a new shop there for sure um, and I'd say he's also probably secretly glad it's not uh, uh, a news agent because he wouldn't want anyone to take the shine off him. So. It felt really good to hand over the keys and see life in the building again because as I said it's, it's just difficult when you see something that was such a big part of your family when you see it rotting away essentially so at least we now know that there's somebody in there and they, they love the building. The building's under a conservation order and I do think it's important. It's the last building on the block. Every other building has been changed significantly. So um, I think it's important to retain those kind of features because I suppose it tells a story. So when we're gone in hundreds of years time, like and our families are gone and the stories of my dad and whoever else takes over the shop after us are gone, the building remains and the building will be able to tell its own story. 